Hello and welcome my fellow chemistry mortals. We're here with the uh, chemistry solver called ChemSolve on uh, the T84 calculator program. Available at mcstudent.com. Of course, the link is in the description. So look, without further ado, let's go to thermochemistry today. Uh, so we've got these basic topics we're going to go over. Enthalpy, heat capacity, temperature change. Hess's law is just going to be shown as, as well as STP conditions. So the first three, the only ones we're actually going to work on solving. So without further ado, let's get to the first question. And then what's cool here is it shows the basic enthalpy equation, the delta H equals Q plus W. And you could solve for any one of the variables, which is super awesome. And it's uh, part and parcel of all the T84 calculator program solvers available at mcstudent.com. So first thing, um, calculate the enthalpy change, H, for a reaction where Q equals 245.3 kilojoules and W equals negative 78.9 kilojoules. So what's going to be given is what's above this red line. Um, I do recommend you write the givens for two reasons. One is your teacher knows that you know what the givens are um, and, and took the care and the time to show that. And the second thing is it helps you line up your thinking because it's like, oh, calculate the enthalpy change. So the H is what we're looking for and we have a Q and a W. So it's like, okay, cool. We know it's this formula. So we're going to solve uh, for the delta H, the change in H, the change in enthalpy. And then um, first, what is the Q? We're just going to enter it as 245.3. We don't enter the units because uh, the program is not that sophisticated yet. This is uh, early February 2025. Maybe it gets more uh, sophisticated as we go on, but for now, that's what we have. Um, also, just for the W, when we enter something, that's negative, we want to use this negative key below the three to the left of the enter key and to the right of the decimal place. So it's negative 78.9. And then the cool thing, it gives you the equation here, right? H equals Q plus W. And then it gives you the answer, uh, delta H is 166.4. So again, keep in mind, um, some of these answers might differ slightly from what I have on, on the screen here. So I'm gonna go with, if it's close enough, we're gonna be cool with it. Okay, now question two, find the heat for a process where H is 156.7 kilojoules and W equals 34.2 kilojoules. So in this case, we're gonna solve for Q, that's option two. And then what's the delta H? Okay, the given is for H is 156.7, very good. And then the W is 34.2. And be careful, make sure, you know, give yourself a moment um, to make sure what you enter is the same thing that you're actually given there. Because um, that's where a lot of mistakes are made just in, in entering uh, the wrong information. It happens to me, so I'm not, you know, casting aspersions on your character if, if you make careless errors. I've been known to do the same. So uh, Q in this case is the 122.5 kilojoules. Fantastic. And then we're going to go to heat capacity. So we're going to scroll down a little bit. And then we're going to go use the back um, command there. And then we're now going to go on heat capacity, which is option two. And then do we want the molar heat capacity or the specific heat capacity? In this case, we want the molar heat capacity. And then it shows the formula here, C equals C times MM. C sub M is the molar heat capacity. C is the specific heat capacity. I believe that's the energy required to raise something one degrees uh, Kelvin or Celsius, um, but probably Kelvin's better. And then, um, and the MM is the molar mass. So what is the C here? The C is given as zero, oops, 0 0.897. So think of that, 0 0.897. Again, this is available at mcstudent.com. Anytime I make an addition to this or a change, if you purchase it, you will get uh, notified and you will get an email of the updated version in perpetuity. Okay. MM, what's the MM? 26.89, let's enter that 26, oh sorry, 0.98. Look at me, here I am telling you to be careful and not being careful myself. Um, 26.98, and the cool thing is we've got the equation here, CM equals C times MM, and then we get 24.2, oh my gosh, look at that, joules per moles uh, Kelvin. And we're gonna say it's close enough, the 24.2 and the 24.22. Again, um, using different solver for when I make this stuff right here on the Zite board versus when I enter it in the calculator. Could be wrong, um, flaming the comments if I am. I'm totally willing to make a change and then haha, -ha, those people who bought ChemSolve will immediately be emailed the, uh, the updated version. 
Okay, now we want to find the specific heat capacity of copper. So let's do that option too. And then again, it gives you the formula, which is fantastic. So you want to write that down too, if you have to show you work for this. Um, and what is the C sub M? It's 24.44. And then what is the MM? That's 63.55. Fantastic. There we go. 0 0.3845. Okay, and again, we've got a rounding error here. I'm just going to assume this is right. But if, I, if I'm not, and there's a, a strong chem student watching, please tell me, and I will, I will update and change this video. Okay, let's go on. Um, we're going to go back here to the general uh, topic of thermochemistry, and we're going to go to temperature change, option three here. So we're going to find final temp or find the energy. So here, um, calculate the final temp when 2,500 joules of heat is added to 50 grams of water. So the given um, Q is 2,500 joules, that's the heat added. And then C, that's the specific heat of water. So that, that you might have to look up um, on a list of givens, like specific heat of water, iron. It gives uh, usually the specific heats of basic elements um, and compounds and whatnot. Okay. Um, or molecules like water is. Okay, uh, C is 4.184 joules per uh, gram Kelvin, and M is 50 grams, temperature is 28. Oh my gosh, this is going to be huge. So calculate final temperature. Okay, so it's going to be giving us a lot. So T sub F means uh, temperature, final, equals T sub I. I tried to make it a subscript, but I don't know how to do that. So it's uh, temperature initial plus Q divided by C times M. And it shows Q is energy in joules. C is the specific, specific heat capacity of whatever we're dealing with here. In this case, it's water. And then M is a mass in grams. So initial temp, um, final temperature. Oh. oh, temperature initial is 298. Yeah, I think it's doing just STP. What is the uh, initial temp? We'll do 298. Um, for K in Kelvins, uh, energy in joules is 2,500. And then specific heat capacity for water, I'm pretty sure it's 4.184. And then what's the mass in grams? We're going to go 50. That's a lot. Okay, final temp, 309.95 K for Kelvin. Fantastic. One more problem, and I do want to show you the other uh, parts of the program for thermochemistry in a moment. So now we want to find the energy required to heat 75 grams of iron from 295K to 345K. All right, so uh, here we're going to find the energy. Fantastic. And what's the specific heat capacity? That's given as the C. The specific heat capacity for iron is 0 0.449. Um, that's joules per gram uh, degrees Kelvin or just Kelvin. Um, mass is 75. We don't have to put the decimal. It's totally fine. It's a trailing zero for uh, the sig fig people out there. So uh, 75. Initial temp is 295. We've got 295 Kelvin here. And then um, final temp is 345. Again, put it in Kelvin. Teacher might be uh, sneaky and put it in Celsius or Fahrenheit. But just make sure you're in Kelvin here for entering it. And we get one, uh, six, or 1683.75. If we're doing four sig figs, I'm sure it rounds to uh, 1684 joules. Okay, fantastic. We've done the solving part. I do want to show you, um, I put Hess's law here. I don't have an example. Well, I do have an example, but I don't have a solver for it. And I'm just showing you um, Hess's law. The change um, heat of reaction is the sum, that's that sigma thing, sum of the change of heat of formation products minus the sum of the change of heat of formation reactants. So example, if we do 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O, the delta HF of H2O is negative 285.8 kilojoules kilojou per mole, sorry, kilojoules, like that's a cool thing. Um, <laughs> delta HF of the H2 is uh, zero, delta HF of O2 is zero. So um, the change uh, heat reaction, now we're putting a two here because of this coefficient in front of the H2, um, for the uh, balanced equation, okay? Times that, um, subtracting, you know, the heat uh, delta, uh, or minus the sum of the delta HF of the reactants, which is zero. 
So we get negative 571.6 kilojoules per mole. So I just gave an example of Hess's law. If you would like me to incorporate uh, Hess's law into the solver part of this, let me know um, and, and I will do it. And that'll be part of chem solve four or chem solve five when that iteration comes about. And then one last thing is STP conditions, standard temperature and pressure. So let me show you that. So in case you don't have it memorized, we've got it here. Um, standard temperature and pressure is zero degrees Celsius, which is technically 273.15 Kelvin. Now, depending on how much of a stickler your teacher is or your instructor, um, you just put, you add 273 to Celsius, or in this case, maybe 273.15. Okay, the standard pressure is 1 atm, which is 101.325 kilopascals. Um, now, the IUPAC STP, um, that's the International um, Agree Upon Units, since 1982. So if you're older than I am, maybe this is kind of new to you. Um, temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, 273.15 Kelvin. Um, one bar, which is, uh, you know, depending on who you're talking to, um, 100 KPA. Um, <laughs> I don't want to get into a fight right now. Um, I will change this if someone says this is completely wrong nowadays. Okay, but enough of that. We'll go back. We have a lot of topics to cover probably for the next few weeks, February 2025. Solutions, acids and bases, electrochemistry, kinetics, more topics. Oh my gosh, equilibrium, nuclear chemistry, redox reactions, and a list of constants. So we've got a lot to cover. Um, again, ChemSolve is available at mcstudent.com. That's M as in Mary, C as in Charlie, S as in Sam. And you'll see a link in the description along with uh, other bestsellers. Right now, um, the ChemSolve program is doing pretty well, as is the SAT program, along with the, uh, the physics uh, mechanics solver. Uh, the other one is the uh, mechanics, uh, or sorry, the physics, electricity, and magnetism. So um, if you have any requests for programs let me know or additions or changes to this program let me know too in the comments I'm, I'm happy and i do read stuff okay take care and i'll talk to you later good luck in all your chem endeavors